Now, anyone who's lived on the land will tell you they can't get by without their chooks. A daily supply of eggs is a lifeline to good nutrition. Well, I'd like you to meet a bloke who's so happy with his fowl, he's treating them like royalty and building them a royal chook house. Meet the royal chooks of Baxter. Queen Lizzie, Prince Phil, Charlie and Camilla. Why the regal titles? Well, look at where they live. Ten acres of rural splendour in a spot called Baxter, just out of Melbourne. What an amazing place. Check out the workshop. There's a hammer and saw for every day of the week. So this is that open range area that we've got up the back. Now, the bloke on the right is Paul Spillane. King Paul, you might say. He owns the property. The other bloke is his mate, Craig. So we want to sit it in there, and I reckon it should sit towards the back of that. So you've still got access at the back. King Paul's dragged Craig in to help him build new digs for the Royal Chooks. We'd been searching the internet and had Taj Mahal, Eiffel Tower, all these different ideas, and uh, he came back with Chookingham Palace. You heard right, Chookingham Palace, modelled on that other palace in old Blighty. So it's full of chooks and, you know, they're a bit silly and so are the people that live in Buckingham Palace. Now, King Paul and Craig have set aside the weekend to build the palace. It's pretty much to scale with what Buckingham Palace is, so it's seven windows that spread across here, which will actually cut out, and that'll give some ventilation. And because it's north-facing, it'll actually let the sunlight into the chooks in the morning, so they'll know when to get up. Fair dinkum. You're not mucking around here, Paul. Magnificent. Grabbing air. By the end of day one, Chookingham Palace is shaping up nicely. At this rate, they'll be finished early. Now, that's Queen Jane, Paul's other half. Her usual routine of taking the dogs for a morning walk around the property is about to be rudely interrupted because Craig's gone AWOL. Looks like you're going to have to give me a hand today. Cos he ain't here and we ain't got time. All right. The new team gets cracking, but Queen Jane is not accustomed to this kind of work. Not surprisingly, the pace is slowing down. With the clock almost at midday, Craig finally shows. Oh, good afternoon. I've been waiting for you. Nice of you to turn up. Where the hell have you been? Footy. He's been to the footy. Paul's not impressed. Mate, we are seriously under the pump now. We've got heaps to get through. Too right, King. That list's as long as both my arms. Six hours of daylight left. Good luck, fellas. In Baxter, the chooks are getting restless. They want to move to their new home. Never fear, chookies. Because work on Chookingham Palace has got a real wriggle on since Craig presented himself for duty. You could say it's almost looking stately. Look, we could keep putting around with these little detail things forever if we really wanted to, just because the more details we put on, the more it looks like Chookingham Palace. Now, I guess at some point we've just got to draw the line and say, OK, that's good enough. Time to call in the painters. There's Queen Jane back in the thick of it. And so is Craig's wife, Anita. With the end in sight, King Paul gets to pumping the tyres up. Yeah, <laughs> this is about to become a palace on wheels. We're just taking on the biggest challenge of the day. Yeah. And that is whether or not we can actually tow it to where it's supposed to live. There's not much daylight left, but Craig decides to make a phone call. No, I, I can't get there. I'm, I'm stuck down where I am. You're fast running out of daylight. And I'm fast running out of ideas. Uh, Craig, I uh, think you need it inside, mate. But I don't know the score of the first game. Seems Craig is more interested in the tipping comp. It's probably about 20 minutes daylight left. I'm ready to go. 
And my partner's giving out the footy scores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. East Melbourne under nine blues. Watch out, people. Could be a right royal stink brewing in Baxter. In Baxter, Craig takes the hint. Inside, mate, pronto. The Tourac tractor roars into life. OK, lads, let's see what you're made of. Let us pray. God save our gracious cream. Go slowly, mate. She's really rocking now, Craig. It's really rocking. Easy does it, boys. I don't want you wrecking the ramparts. There you go. Good job. Good job, mate. Thanks. Really good. Well done. Yeah, good job. Okay, they went over time. But what the heck? Nothing's ever too good for royalty. And all these extras make them the royalest chooks in Australia. But it's come at a cost. If you worked out how much eggs cost to buy every week, it'll take five to ten years to pay off. <laughs> King Paul reckons it cost him a bit over a thousand bucks to build the palace. Yeah, it looks good. Come on, stop fussing around. Let's get him in. OK. In you go, Lizzie. There's plenty of room for you. And your husband. And your son. And your daughter-in-law. Drink in the pew. Isn't it marvellous? No, I don't think it's over the top. Not for us. It's not for <laughs> us, it's for them. No, I don't think it's over the top. They might like golden eggs now. <laughs> <laughs>